Good morning. Uh, so we got a few things here started already this morning. I cleaned up the bay and I cleaned up the old gasket stuff. I put in the new injector holders. They're no longer shaking. And I put my hoses and everything else together. These are all brand new. We got the pump working well and the water, the auxiliary water pump and the monovalve is working, everything is back there. But Mercedes-Benz came up with a new design for this hose back here. And they have a metal distributor behind here with three clamps. And this made it now possible to put the holder for the ABS unit back into place. Let me see if I can zoom in there and you can see what we got. See this? That is one clusterfuck. And uh, if I'm going to take my bracket, this was an engineering masterpiece. As you can see, these holes have to line up here, but the left one will. The left one will right here, but not the right one because I can't get it down far enough because of the hose. This whole thing has pushed itself a little bit up. Well, anyway, we figure that out later. I have to call Mercedes-Benz and see if they have a modified ABS bracket. What happens with these things is when Mercedes-Benz does this, that they modify one part. You can't really see it because the whole thing is really underneath you. I don't think you can see this. Well, anyway, this used to be a hose with three different uh, connections here. This hose here came in, had a splitter going to the small one up here, and then to the bigger one going into the radiator, into the heater core. And that thing is no more. Now it's a metal piece. This way it won't clamp up or it compresses too much and you will get sufficient heat in the interior. Well, anyway, this is the part here. So far, so good. We're getting ready for reassembly. And now, let me just show you this here. This is the holders. And this is the O-rings that we're sitting in. They just crumble like this. Yeah. And as you have guessed it, even before taking this apart, I got already a kit for the whole thing. Came with two extra ones. So I got two extra ones and the injectors. So the injectors will be fine. I've also reassembled the airflow sensor here on the, since we cleaned it. And um, let me see if I can show you this real quick. Uh, let's see, we can build ourselves a little hold in here. That's good, so I got our potentiometer back on here. And now this is the one which came with this unit here, which was still working. So we're measuring now 1.4, and you can see that I'm moving it slowly up. This is normal because I'm kind of an angle right now, and uh, it is not fully adjusted yet. So it goes to five, six, seven, eight, and then it goes to 10 and then it drops 12 and it starts to drop back off and it goes down a little bit. That is the top one and the bottom one reacts differently. Uh, that is funny in the videos it never works as well. All right, so this is now the bottom center in the bottom and this is a shorty I got with my cabling this is not holding too well <laughs> with these big clamps here I got. All right, now we're on the bottom and we're going down and it goes up. And you can see that it goes to a higher value. Uh, this is my connections here. They are, see this, my things are worn out. I need to get a new set of test leads. But anyway, it is working correctly, believe me. This is the problem when you have worn out test slates, which I know, and you can get bad results too. But another thing I wanted to show you, 
this is now working correctly. The other thing which was stuck or moved very, very difficult was this thing here. See this, how nicely this is gonna move now? See, now it is freely moving. And before it wouldn't. And what I had to do was, I had to take this nut out. You can see this. This here has a gap of exactly 0 0.6 millimeter compared to this nut. So the height difference between this plate, this nut, and this nut is 6, 0 0.6, 0 0.6 millimeters. And then you get this to move. What I did is I took it out and I flushed it with a brake cleaner. That's what they want you to do. Be careful, there's a gasket on this, on this uh, nut here on the inside, which already is hard. This thing has hard gaskets too. This gasket broke off immediately as soon as I pulled it out. And you can see this, so this is the actual original unit here too. Basically these things, they were all, see that was remanufactured at one point, but it is, that was such a long time ago that this is already all hard here too. So when that was then maybe 2012, eight, nine years ago, it goes that fast in California. Anyway, and we're gonna reassemble this now and then I still have to clean this thing up here and get this here resituated. So that will be the next thing, okay?